All right, guys, so the first thing with flashing the ESC is going to be going over to our website, which is fpvmodel.com. Uh, if you go to the search bar and just type in SN20A, uh, you will go, it will go ahead and link you to the ESC. So go to the ESC page and scroll down to the bottom, and this will, is where you will find the BL Heli Suite. So just download that. Okay, now once you have that downloaded, you can open it up and it let's begin on how you're actually going to flash the ESC. So you have two options. One is the Arduino Nano and one is the ESC linker as you can see in the picture. So the ESC linker is the metallic blue piece that will just link right into your USB and the Arduino Nano is the uh, small electronic board that you're going to connect a USB, uh, uh, USB cable to and hook that up to your computer. So first thing you'll have to do is either with the ESB linker or the Arduino Nano is go ahead and just plug them into the computer and let them uh, let your computer download the proper drivers for it. Okay, so we have two options. One is the USB linker and the other one is the Arduino Nano. So let's start with the easiest one first and let's move over here to Atmel slash Scilabs. Uh, click on this tab and make sure that you have the Turnigy USB linker or Afro ESC USB program tool clicked. Uh, once you click on that, let's go ahead and plug in the USB linker. So once that is plugged in, we'll go ahead and connect the battery. Uh, connecting the battery to the ESC is going to give it power. And let's move down here to where it says port. Uh, the USB linker is COM4, so I'm going to go ahead and cl click connect. Now for you, uh, it may be different. It might be COM4, it might be COM6. Uh, you'll just have to check and see which one it's uh, which COM port it's registered under. So after clicking connect it will say disconnect and we don't want to do that yet because we still have not flashed the firmware. So let's go ahead and click on the tab that says flash BL heli. Uh, it's going to pull up this window and you will on the left hand side you'll see a drop down list you can click on. So click on that and make sure you choose the right ESC. So DYS SN20A click on that and then go to your multi setup and make sure you click on the multi path and also over here on firmware latest available uh, BL Heli revision so we'll go ahead and move to that and then click OK so click OK this ESC already has the firmware installed so it's telling me do you want to install it again so I'm going to say yes and just go ahead and overwrite it uh, now that we're installing the firmware, you can see you're writing to device flash. So you'll see the little percentage bar move up. Once it hits 100%, it'll move over to reading device flash. So let that uh, go ahead and read for a moment. Once it's done, another window will pop up. Flashed DYS SN20A with BL Heli reversion 13.2 and here it says successfully so that's the part that we're most concerned about so let's go ahead and click on OK and once we've done that we can click disconnect okay let's give you a closer look at the board and show you how to connect to the ESC here you'll notice on the board you have a ground D2 and D3 you'll want to connect the ESC wire the ground to the ground on the board and the signal wire to D3 on the board and that will get you set up with the servo connection on your Arduino Nano. Okay so now we'll move over to the Arduino Nano. Uh, now what you'll want to do is you'll want to go ahead and connect your Arduino Nano to the computer. Uh, come over to Atmel Scilabs and make sure you click uh, click on Arduino USB linker interface. And once you click on that, go to the second row and the second tab here, it will say interfaces for Atmel. 
Now the part we're concerned about most here is the Arduino board. Uh, click on the drop down and make sure the Arduino board matches the model that you have. Uh, here we're using the Nano with Atmega 328. So we're going to click on that and we'll, uh, the Nano board is on COM6 this time and it's not COM4. So we're going to go ahead and click on COM6 and we want to go to make, RS, make Arduino USB link interface and it will ask us do you want to make the Arduino interface on this board and we'll go ahead and click yes so <clears throat> it will go ahead and write to the board and tell you that it has successfully uh, successfully written over and go ahead and click OK and now it says please select Atmel Arduino USB linker interface and set connection speed between 9600 and 115,200 baud rate. So let's go ahead and click OK. It says do you want to set up the Nano Arduino USB linker for using servo plug connected D3, D2 and ground? Yes we do. So we'll go ahead and click yes. Settings written successfully click OK. So now we'll go back over here to Atmel uh, BEC setup. We're at 9600 baud rate which is good and we're on COM6 so we're going to go ahead and click connect. Oh, Let's click cancel. Uh, we need to cancel out of that. We have not powered up the board yet. So we'll cancel and now we will go ahead and power up the ESC. So take the battery and plug in the ESC and this will give power there. So now we can connect without any issues. So as soon as we do that, the connect tab turns to disconnect, say OK, and just go ahead and flash the BL Heli firmware. Uh, once again, make sure you're on the proper ESC, the multipath, and the latest revision. Click OK and it's going to say that this is already on the board. Do we want to overwrite? Yes, we do. And everything will uh, write to the device and then go ahead and read it just like it did with the USB linker. So once it does that, give it just a moment, but once it does that, it'll go ahead and let us know if everything was written successfully and yes it was so go ahead and click OK and now we can disconnect so that is how you flash the SN20A ESC's with either the Arduino Nano or a USB linker thank you for watching